Now let's see how to get an OpenWhisk action to run automatically in response to a trigger. In OpenWhisk terms, a trigger is an event that can fire one or more actions automatically. Triggers can be fired manually through a REST call or fired by some data source, such as a Cloudant document change. But rather than talk about it, let's see it in action. To get started, I have this hello world type action already set up that returns a message that says hello, the time is now, and includes the current time. What I'm going to do is set up a trigger to fire this action automatically every five seconds. To do that, I have the action opened, and all I need to do is click the automate this action button at the bottom right of the editor. This brings up a wizard which allows me to select the trigger that I want to use to invoke my action. There are a number of pre-canned data sources or feeds that are able to fire triggers that come with OpenWhisk, including one that can fire triggers in reaction to Cloudant database changes, or GitHub project changes, or even mobile push notifications. For this example, I'm going to pick the periodic feed, which is able to fire triggers at specified time intervals. I'll select the periodic feed, and then immediately click the new trigger button. This brings up a UI which allows me to quickly and easily specify the time interval. For example, hourly or daily at the same time every day. However, for this example, I'm going to choose the cron button to use the full cron syntax to specify that I want my trigger fired every five seconds. By default, the example cron syntax applied is already set up to trigger every five seconds, so I'll just use that. Next, I need to supply a name for this trigger, something that will help me remember what it does in the future. I think every five seconds is probably a good name for this one. After I've supplied the name, all I need to do is click the Create Periodic Trigger button. This takes me back to the periodic feed UI where now we can see that there is a new trigger called every five seconds and it is already selected in green. From here, I just click Next. Now we can see how our rule is shaping up. The periodic feed is configured at the top to use the trigger we just created called every five seconds. In response to that trigger, hello action will be invoked. This looks good to me, so I'll go ahead and click the this looks good button. Next, I'm given the opportunity to customize the name for this rule. This name looks pretty good, so I'll just keep it and click save rule. Once the rule is saved, I just click done. Now you can see in the My Rules view on the left, our new rule has been created and you can tell by the green checkbox that it is enabled and running. Now all we need to do is verify that our hello action is being invoked every five seconds automatically by our new rule. To do that, we just go to the dashboard. Here in the activity log of the dashboard, we can verify that our hello action is in fact being invoked every five seconds automatically.